Hi, Andrew here. Today, I would like to teach you how to use the graph to find the zeros and the multiplicity of those zeros. So the first thing is, what the heck are zeros, right? Is zero just zero? Well, not exactly. Zeros kind of mean the x-intercept values, okay? And remember, the x-intercept is going to be the locations, the x values, that is, where the graph touches the x-axis or intersects completely, all right, and crosses that x-axis. So it only looks like we have two, right? We have two points here. So that means that x is equal to negative 2, we have an x-intercept, and x equaling 3, we also have an x-intercept. So basically, these two values are the zeros, okay, negative 2 and 3. The next thing is we have to find the multiplicity of each of these zeros. Now, how do we do that? Well, it turns out that we want to identify the local behavior of the function at that zero. Now, why do these local behaviors, or why are these, yeah, I'm going to kind of explain some patterns, uh, but why do these patterns arise? Please take a look at the link in the description below. I'll leave uh, a video down there for you where I explain in detail why, all right? So, but for right now, all you want, all you need to know here is that when the graph bumps, all right, it doesn't actually cross that x-axis, all right? It just does a little bump and go. That's always indication that it is an even multiplicity. So they bump in both places, right? It's a, two bumperuskis, right? So they're going to be both even multiplicities. Now the question is though, well, there's a lot of even numbers out there, right? What number is it? Two, four, six, eight, nine? Huh? Gotcha. That's not even. Well, it's really hard to discern the difference. But basically, when this isn't that flat, all right, meaning if it doesn't look like this, where it starts to really flatten out at the bottom, then most likely it's the lowest even number, which would be two. So that's basically what we have here. Okay, we're going to have an even multiplicity. Since it's not that flat, the multiplicity value for each of those zeros would be two. And uh, that's it. All right. So again, if you want to understand a little more about multiplicity, check out that video. And uh, if not, no worries. All right. But I highly do recommend that you understand what's going on before you memorize. All right. That's going to help you get the best grade on your exams and, you know, Getting good grades on exams, meaning getting into certain maybe schools or graduate programs or wherever you want to go. All right. Um, so it's important. Somewhat. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I do hope this video helps. And if it does, if you don't mind giving us a hand, push those buttons, like and subscribe, and also maybe tell some of your classmates. I look forward to helping you with more problems. Check out our channel because we've got thousands of them. Physics, chemistry, math, and a whole lot of other stuff coming. Take care.